Hi guys. So I'm gonna get into some nerd stuff today. Hang tight, okay? So yesterday I had a brilliant idea that I wasn't sure was gonna work. When I installed this, I had to delete my cruise control, right? Haha, -ha, I have it back. Long story short, originally I thought I could just plug this in, but then I realized that it plugs directly into the clock spring. So luckily I still had that, so I had to plug the clock spring in, and then I had it originally just like zip tied up under this, which I'll pop down in a second, and it wasn't working. And I realized it wasn't working because I had pulled the horn relay because every time this little guy touched metal, my horn would go off. So I put the horn relay back and taped this guy, and now the little button works and the lever, and it works when I drive. Okay, so I totally just zip tied it back up there. Um, it's ghetto rigged as fuck, but I don't care. Plug this back in, and I'll show you guys the end. Guess who has cruise control? Lucky, I can control. So while my ghetto rigged method did work, um, I wanted to dive deeper, and I had the idea that I could literally just, why can't I just bypass the clock spring, right? And wire this together. All right, so unfortunately I can't show you how to get to this step. You will have to go to my other video where I install my aftermarket wheel and all of that. But when you get to this step, basically this little plug, if I'm not mistaken, was, I can't remember because it's been a minute now, but I want to say it was mounted somewhere like under there. So you just gotta figure out um, where your cruise control plug is, unscrew it, and then you had a clock spring, which of course mine's torn apart right now, but you had a clock spring somewhere here as well, and you want to just remove that because your cruise control um, plugs into the clock spring. So I wish that I had filmed this whole process, but I didn't even plan on making this a video until I realized I couldn't find videos or even really a solid forum for the 07 WX on this, so it prompted me to make a video. So anyways, once you have your clock spring off, you have to break it open, and I mean you're committing to not using this anymore, hack, hack away. Um, I think my hands bled when I did it. So again, like I said, I can't really show you how to get to this step, but hack away because you're abandoning this clock spring and get to the point where um, I know that one of these you had like clips because it plugged into, or not clips, but little like connectors on this end and you're gonna just, just cut them off because you need the wires. And then we're gonna cut back on the wires, but the part that I couldn't find and I wrote down for you guys is the wire. When I initially started this project, I literally thought that I could just match up the wires and then I started realizing that there, it's not, it's not really plug and play because it's not a direct matchup. So I couldn't find forums and info on which wires to match up, so I had to print out all the wiring diagrams and all this fun stuff. And I finally was able to figure out sort of what does what, and this is what you guys are gonna need. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have turned it. This is what is the important um, wire to wire in us. Sorry, I am all over the place with this video, but yeah. So anyways, I need to go get little butt connectors and I'm just gonna do it that way and connect them and then mount it somewhere in the car. And this just plugs back in under the steering wheel and then you have bypassed the clock spring. So I'm gonna hope it works and I will check back in once I have the connectors. So you're gonna start by cutting back your wires and then you're gonna need a crimper, obviously the wire cutter, um, some electrical tape, and the butt connectors. I use the little red gauge ones. So it's these little red butt connectors and I use this crimp and just squeeze hard. Almost done. So I'm almost done. And it's all taped up. I just have to plug it in and see if it works. Alright, so it is plugged in and hooked up, and I can control the cruise, and we're about to find out if I actually can set it, so... Mod. And now I can just mount this somewhere with my aftermarket wheel. Pretty stoked. 
right guys thanks for watching and supporting so now i have cruise control i just gotta figure out how to mount it somewhere nicely um and then i will be doing a track day prep video this week as well because i have a track day next week i'll be driving thunder hill east for the first time three mile so um yeah keep an eye on my channel there's gonna be some content coming up guys thank you bye